What's up guys, it's Kyle from Newell Strength located in Hillsborough, New Jersey. Um, hopefully this video reaches you across the globe. Um, I know uh, with my first time around with my ruptured patella tendon, I've been able to help uh, males and females as far away as New Zealand, uh, Asia, I mean as far away from here as you can get. Uh, and as you know, if you've been following along, I ruptured my second patella tendon um, three months ago. And I'm doing really well so far, um, pretty much back to normal. So I even beat last last time's pace, and that, that was a pretty uh, fast pace that I used to recover. Um, some of the things you have to understand about a ruptured patella tendon, I've had a few guys email me recently, is there's a lot of tissue damage, okay? There's a lot of tissue remodeling that has to go on. <clears throat> it's going to take upwards of roughly, if I could put a number on it, 18 months. That doesn't mean 18 months until you're perfect. First of all, you're not going to be perfect again. You're not going to be the same as you were before. You're going to be repaired, okay? You're not going to be the same, so there's a big difference. Even with my left knee, if I, if I stand here and I bend it, I know you can't see it, but it's tight in there. So tissue remodeling takes upwards of 18 months. Some key things that I've been doing this time, um, using a Voodoo floss band. Um, so maybe I'll videotape that uh, coming up within the next few days. I wrap above the joint, take it through flexion and extension. I wrap around the joint, same thing. Wrap below the joint, the same thing. Um, you know, I'm using my bike protocol that I used last time, heel on the pedal, and I keep knocking the seat down every few minutes, and really just taking it to the point of discomfort, but not extreme pain this time. <clears throat> um, and, and lastly, uh, some of the stuff I've talked about, should you find yourself in that situation, do not ice unless you cannot stand the pain. Do not ice, I'm telling you. Use a compression sleeve. Get off the crutches as fast as possible and initiate movement as soon as you get the staples out. Don't wait six weeks. Those are all keys to healing. Um, it, it, you need to, to flush some of the, the shit that's in there, so to speak, out with the lymphatic system. The only way you can do that is through muscular contraction. So it's got to be controlled movement. Keep the brace on. I kept mine on for about three weeks before I moved to a neoprene sleeve, um, which I'll highlight when I do the, uh, the knee wrapping. But those are just some key points this time around, um, and just be patient. It's going to take time. Just get a little bit better and look for one more degree of motion, one more inch here, and it'll add up. You'll be back to normal uh, before you know. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, kyle at newellstrength.com. Uh, you can also check out the patellar tendon rupture manual volume one. I think you can find it on my site. Uh, we changed some stuff around, so if you can't find it, just shoot me an email. And um, I'll get you the link. Um, maybe I'll post it below for this video. And that's about it. Keep the questions coming. Peace, guys.